episode of Talk Entertainment on Ghana Web TV, we speak to Sheila Echampon, daughter of legendary high life musician Ernest Owahi Echampon. Mm -hmm. She also doubles as a sister of Baden Ghanaian singer Jackie. We find out does music really run in the blood of this family? This is Talk Entertainment on Ghana Web TV. We'll be right back. Sheila Echampo. Hello. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. Your voice slow like that. That's that's your vibe. Or you yeah. have a code. Uh, that's how I speak. Uh huh. I'm like that. Smooth. Smooth like that. <laughs> I feel it. Yeah, yeah. Great. Now you are a daughter to a music legend, Nane Champo. Sure. Sister to a songbird, Jackie. Sure. Can we say that music runs in your family? It does. It runs in the blood. It runs in the family. And um, almost everybody can sing in my family. Okay. Yeah, just that um, with some, the grades are different. Some of us have um, more, more upper hand in bringing songs out. And then some too, some sing. So yeah, it's in the blood, it's in the family. So let's say we're born to do music and that's what we're doing. Yeah. Great. Yeah. So how does it feel being the daughter of a music legend? growing up the community where you find yourself in did you really appreciate it that okay my father is it's a big star mm -hmm. how was it like how did you also relate okay uh, growing up growing up wasn't anything extra old it was cool like uh, he made sure we acted like normal children okay yeah, we felt comfortable in our own skin did things that normal kids do went to places normal kids go to and it wasn't maybe to the outside it was like <gasps> And your father, but to me, I was like, yeah, he's my father. <laughs> yes. It wasn't anything giddy giddy beer. You know, you go to school, uh, sometimes you come and pick you up. Then people will be like, hi, Nana Champ Papa, Nana Champ Papa. I'll be like, that made the farmer cry, Mr. So, yeah, it, it was cool. It was amazing. Yeah. Okay, so like uh, people mingling with you, did you have people come to you maybe whilst you were young? to ask you questions about your dad and all that, maybe? They did a lot, a lot of times. Some, some will want to know, like, cross, uh, overstep, know what your, what's really happening in the family, like, be very, very private. But then we're cold, sorry, against those kind of stuff. Like, oh, okay. When someone says, so, oh, are you the daughter of Nene Champo? Be like, yeah, I am. If the person wants to go deep, like, Mufie, Mohoti, say, blah, 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 be like, I beg, my own business. I'm the daughter, that's what you wanted to know. Yeah, you have it. Sure. Yeah, and even at the point that people will be like, eh, come, it's open the net champ for turning your back, mommy. <laughs> and after singing, I'll be like, pay up. I'll be, I just rendered a service, so pay up. Wait, talk of his music. Uh, any, you got any favorite in there? Yeah, I have a May Pentem Akomedo and Chen, that song. You see the intro, that, that sound, that melody, uh, that beat. Excuse me, what? Well, uh, wanna I give us a lie if you like? Yeah, 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 yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> Okay. Oh, 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 I got on your wound, your red jay, and my dad damn me. Oh, 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 Okay, yeah, okay. Just, so uh, now that you, you did sing your father's song, are you going to take money from me? Like, <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> Talk about that later. I'm good. But, but, but Sheila, when did it occur to you that you wanted to walk in the footsteps of your father? Uh, when I was a child, mm -hmm. around 9, 10, I had that vibe. But then I wasn't really responding to it. Okay. Yeah, so one day, you know, melodies kept popping in my head, lyrics just kept coming to me i wanted so i told my mom i was like mom i'm feeling this vibe at that time my dad was out of the country okay so i told my mom she, she got me an, an empty cassette i recorded my thoughts on it she said when your dad comes back you can 
we will go and uh, show the recordings to him. But then she also told me the terms and conditions, no, I broke it. She was like, don't let anyone listen to what you have recorded. But me being me, you know, I made sure everyone listened to what I recorded. Your friends? Or oh, all my friends. In fact, the whole house. <laughs> <laughs> so my mom got bored. She was like, Unko baby, yeah. So she got bored and then we didn't really work on it. After a while, I wasn't feeling the vibes again, so we just stopped. And then somewhere, I think 27, somewhere 2012, 2010, mm -hmm. the vibes started coming back. I started working on it. But I didn't record anything official. No, I was like, should I do music? Should I not do music? When uh, uh, I was really in doubt if I should do music when Jackie started. Oh, okay. I heard love is pretty, pretty. Can't you see? I was like, oh, not so Jackie queer here. Maybe I'm in some Go, Jackie. You have my support. You have my love. Let's do this. But then once you accord, you accord. Uh, when the uh, the passion, we have the passion. We have passion for something you can't really uh, say you won't do it so we just kept back and was like whether you like it or yes you also do music so it's either you respond or you respond i couldn't take it anymore but then still i wasn't working on it so one day my sister was like hey she into when you me that i was like oh, okay fine 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 this is it let me start doing music which year was that 2020 in 20, I, and even that, I started in 2021. So, me and I was stubborn. I, I just procrastinated. <laughs> exactly. And for so many years, I was, I would do, okay, fine, I would do music. I'll call somebody, oh, uh, do you have a. I'd be like, I want to do music. What do you think? You're like, oh, it's in your blood. But then, I mean, my dad is already, my dad has already done it. Do you feel I should do it? And when Jackie came into the scene, Jackie today here, make a show no. I was like, okay, fine. I have passion for fashion. Let me go and do fashion. They can, they are, they can do music. So let them do it. And then, as I said, once the calling comes, you, you can't, can't really say no. About so it. I had to. I had to. And, and then here we are. So far, like I'm like, why didn't I start? Fine, why fine, didn't fine, I fine, start? Fine, fine. Why didn't? Way, way back. Why didn't I start? Because I'm loving it. You're loving it it's now. It's really cool. Great. I have seen a photo of uh, Jackie and your father in a studio. Yeah, once you used it for, was it for a seed EP? Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that photo. You talked about the fact that when you wanted to feel it deep down in your body, you spoke to your mom and then she gave you a recorder. Was there a time that you also spent time with your dad in the studio? Or uh, did you ever see him record? Or it was just him doing music and maybe you were just that kid who used to mind her business i was i was that kid who used to mind her business i i love singing i knew i could sing but did i want to do music nah me my own i was just watching I, I was like i want to be an actress i want to do fashion i want to do this so i was really really minding my own business mm -hmm. but jackie she she even when she was younger she recorded a song with like my, one of my dad's studios. So she, oh, you know, okay. yeah. She was that one who was always yeah, close she, to daddy. She was like, yeah, me, dear, me, dear, I'm doing music. <laughs> but me, I was minding my own business. So I, I, I was even surprised when I started feeling that music vibe that I should do music. It was not even part of the plan initially. All, at all, at all, at all. It wasn't at all. I love singing. I used to sing every, every opportunity I'll get. But then doing music, it wasn't officially, part of the no. plan. Great. So where do you take inspiration from? Some people say, oh, when I'm in the bad tough, it comes. Is it your father? Is it a musician that you're looking up to that you want to be like him or her? Okay. So the music is already in your genes. That's number one inspiration. Mm -hmm. You have a, a legend to look up to and now, an, an international star. So uh, you are inspired by what is in front of you, what your father has done what your sister is doing and from from you also doing better that's another inspiration plus motivation mm -hmm. for, for me so yeah and then my songs i get it from sometimes the thought will just pop into your head sometimes it will be the melody sometimes it will be like mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. some harmony sounds i, rec I record everything 
I just make sure, because sometimes you be like, uh, a thought will come, mm -hmm. you wouldn't record it or write it down. And then that thought will just disappear. Be like, hey, I think I just let a hick song go. Oh, that okay. So whenever it strikes, you have to put it, it down, down or record. pen, record, or just if I'm in a situation I can't record or pen, or maybe sometimes when I'm battling, then uh, the idea pops up. I'll be singing the song, sir, till I am done. Then I'll record it. Uh, yeah, some it, it, and sometimes from other other pe other people's songs. You hear this line, you feel like you can work on this line. You hear a backup, you feel like you can work with this backup. You hear uh, a tune, you feel you can work a beat. So, so you take inspiration from so from many places, from okay. people's story, from TV shows, everywhere and everywhere. Great. It's not limited to one one Great. source now. Now your latest single, the one with Strongman, yeah. like that. What, Tiana? Ah. <laughs> Later, we'll talk about how you met him and how you cooked that collaboration. But how did you get that inspiration? You write your own songs, I so do. I know. I do. So you wrote like that? Like that. I Great. did. So how did you cook that one, the inspiration? How did it come? Or it took a long while? Some people say they write songs. It was there for two years before I finally decided. What was your story? It was, it, mine was in two years. I think uh, in 2021, December, after recording New Love. New Love is a low-tempo song, mm -hmm. so... I wanted something a little bit mid-tempo. I was like, oh, okay. Um, so I was thinking, I was thinking, I was thinking. And uh, like that is actually a sequel to New Love. Mm -hmm. I wanted, okay, you have your New Love. So after the New Love, what's up? Should I do a honeymoon phase for the song or something? I wanted, I wanted something like that, you know, mid-tempo, uh, slow tempo to mid-tempo. So I was thinking, I actually thought, about it, uh, how should a song go? How should a song go? But then I really did not get what I needed until uh, this song Buga came out. Okay. So I met a group of people in the evening. They were dancing to Buga. And then uh, how I, I read the mood. You see the song that way, and then I drew them in the mood. Uh, I read them. I was like, okay, these people Buga and Buga isn't that much of a high tempo song. Yeah, Bugain like that, uh, this evening, in this kind of mood, they were having a party or something, I was like, so I, the idea just, I don't know how it happened, but I just hit, so I just took my, my notepad, I was like, and then I draw, I'm in the mood. I call, my one line, one nest. I was like, okay, if we're in the mood, then one nest, one nest, one nest, one nest. And I remember Nigerians, they really like using this line, Odoyo. Mm -hmm. I was like, okay, let me add Odoyo. Maybe the Nigerians will listen. <laughs> <laughs> so Odoyo, uh -huh. so mood and move. Okay, then move. Let me rhyme here. So it started like that. Thanks to Kes Daniel for giving me inspiration. So give us a line of uh, like that. Okay. <clears throat> Shake it. Why not? Break it. Baby, that's right. Shake it, wind up, break it. And now that you, I'm in the mood. Although you, I want to move, move. Just me and you, move my body to the crew. Me, I wanna dance with you. Shake your bum bum, do this for you. Ha, I never knew me a new. Yeah. Gonna book up for you, my baby. Smooth like a lotion, for the sun, baby, my man. Mm. Like that, like that, for the bugger for you, my baby. Smooth like a lotion, for the sun, baby, my man. Mm. Like that, like that, for the sun, baby, my man. You know, sun, baby, my man. For the sun, baby, my man. Mm. Like that, like that, for the sun, baby, my man. You know, sound baby, my man. Got a sound baby, my man. Mm -hmm. Like that, like, like that. that. I learned strong man verses, so let me add it. Okay. Or that you give me so. Fault it to me so. Whether they didn't have any more body, was so. Or that, and so now, Papa, my mini go so. And I do what you must until my mini do so. Baby, I'm in the mood. She will make a cry, baby, move. Oh, don't suffer me when mommy good. Oh, baby, I go for booze. Baby, we are good. 
And every time what you see somebody got, uh -huh. oh God, my baby, your body bad. Uh -huh. Damn, I tell you lies, so the me lose to God. Mommy, bum bum, no, no, the me too hard. And I do all the feeling in your deep, huh? Oh, my name coming home, baby, when your jeep, huh? The jeep never came, though. <laughs> Can you imagine? I love that and I love that whole connection in the video True. and all that. True. So how did you get a strong man on it? Uh, through one of my team members. Okay. Yeah, I told, after writing the song, I felt, nah, I need strong G on this one. And then uh, I told one of my team members, uh, they were like, I can get him. We talked to his manager. He was like, no, why not? The song is nice, dope. I would like, love to be on it. Within two weeks, Strong man verse was ready. We delivered. So yeah, I, uh, shout out to Strong man. Thank uh -huh. you. Thank so uh, how's the song performing so far? So far, so good. Great. And I'm pushing it out there to so many people. You know, I'm new. Yeah. Many people don't know me as an artist. So yeah, I'm trying to push it out there. And I hope people accept it. And then they show me their love and their support. And I always, uh, I say and I will keep on saying, I am not a nine-day wonder. I'm not just here, oh, Nane Champo's daughter, Jackie's sister. Oh, one song, two song, three song. No, I'm here to stay. I'm here to stay. stay. I like the energy. Great. On the back of that, we'll take a quick break. When we come back, Talk Entertainment on Ghana Web TV continues. <laughs> on Ghana Web TV with me, Paula Amabruni. I'm seated with Sheila Music, daughter of legendary high life musician, yeah. or one here, Nana Echampo. Mm -hmm. Sheila, so how's it been finding your feet in the music industry? <clears throat> so far, so good. Mm -hmm. I love the support I'm getting. Uh, thanks to my dad for paving the way. Bless up Jackie for your hard work. I know some way, some way I'm, I'm benefiting, benefiting from it, sorry. So yeah, so far, it, it's not, you wouldn't find it easy just because uh, someone has already paved the way or way. something. You also need to find your own girls. You're not, even though you're the same blood, you're not the same person. So it wouldn't be, people would be like, mm, so yeah, okay, oh, so yeah, deal. It will take a while to convince people to accept me for who I am, my style, love me for myself. So. So far, so good. More room for improvement. More room to uh, show people who I am okay. as an artist, as Sheila. Yeah. Great. So, are you looking forward to capitalizing on your father's legacy? I know. So, because who, why name Padipa? You get what I'm saying? The yeah, thing is already why there. Name Papa said, yeah, why the <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love that song too. <laughs> Nana produced hit, like, you know, those people back in the day, like their song, I say it's classic, timeless, it never fades. Epic I don't know how they do it, but you should learn from it because I ah, want yeah. here today when we play the song, as you see, you can it's just sing to it. Yeah. You should, you should. I, I am. But Sheila, I would ask, what role has your father, Nane Champon, Jackie, your sister, even your mom played in your music career? Uh, a lot. Mm -hmm. A lot. Their support, their words of encouragement, mm -hmm. sometimes the fundings. A lot. I can't, I can't really uh, put a tag on it. A lot. Immensely. God bless them. Um, I'm blessed to have a family like that. Like, go me. Go you. So your mom, dad, they are in full support of the path you told it. And that thousand percent, Christ. Thousand yeah. percent. Great. Thousand percent. Great. Wow. So, will Sheila say she will need an open endorsement from her father, or one here in Lake Champo, or sister Jackie, to succeed? No. No, 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 no. It would be amazing if I, if I have that, or if I had that, had, have. Hey, me English teacher, I can't You know what I'm saying? Okay, so it would be amazing to have that. Mm hmm but then, um, let me think about this question well. Does someone look like Copa? Well, 
With the baby pillars, eh? Did I you try his best to let people know him for did I you? And then they oh, me did I you, the son of not meet Abedi Pele's son, the dad you. So, and the dad, yeah, the dad groomed him and all that, but then, no, he rose some way, somehow by his own works. So I would love it, love, love, love it. But then I would want to build myself. I already have the foundation. So the building, I can do it myself. Let them support me. Like, go Sheila, go Sheila. Yeah, I like that. And then there's those men to be like, have you seen the way my, my daughter Sheila is building herself? Have you seen how my sister is doing things by herself? Not with my team, but then, you know. I want something like that. Not like, uh, this is my daughter Sheila. Okay, fine, fine, fine. What did I bet you? What's up? Oh, uh, but then when they go in there, and then your works, your works are not there's really. nothing to show for. Exactly, nothing to show for then. What's so you believe in building the brand now, doing the grounds work, and then at a point when they throw in the endorsement, cool, you're down for it, cool. By that time, um, I know people know me for who I mm -hmm. am. Wow. They have accepted my works. Okay. So it will be easier for them to even endorse me. Great. And those the bad person, yeah, Juma will be like, oh, yeah, yeah, dear, you know, power, yeah, dear, power, like, you did deep inside. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. You I don't, don't want that. Don't want I love that. that energy. I love that energy. It's, it's, it's the right thinking because you're always told to do things on our own. So once mm. you're good, you you cannot hide it. Okay, exactly. she's okay. Okay, then that means the apple doesn't fall far from, from the, the tree. tree. Yeah. Exactly. Now, I would, would would you be okay? We've talked about the endorsement. If any of them say, okay, I've got the song, I'm writing this. Because if my dad was a wahi and he say, well, mommy verse be, I'll be glad. So yeah. is she like in for that? Open I'll be for that? very, 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 very happy. Very, very happy. Be like, if my dad was like, okay, she, this song. Look at it. Oh, why not? Like, I'll be like, oh, why you didn't wrote this song for me? <laughs> and I'm singing it out to you. That'll be the intro. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, you want to crack my ribs like crazy. But then, do, after writing a song, you know you're, you're a songwriter. Do you give it to your dad to take a second look at it for you? Uh, no, no, all the time. Because uh, I believe in myself. Mm -hmm. I know, I know I, I have it done. I can do it. So not all the time. But then sometimes you be like, I handle her, yes. So, and sometimes they sometimes they be engineers. When they record they be like, she not wait there, and you me do. They say like that or not like, oh you can and you me do be like, eh, and you are the union. They be like, oh let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Yeah. For my engineers, for my my family. Sometimes my mom will be like, oh throw on your ma. Sure, your mom. Obi Meka say, "Eh, nadi na obi yi yo." Oh, okay. So, yeah. you are also particular about the fact that you don't want to say things that are maybe profane, things that will not also represent your dad well. Is uh, that it, or you are, you are open to singing about almost everything? I believe uh, music is an art. Okay. And sometimes you need certain words for certain songs. How you put it is up to you. That uh, this line, Connie say, oh, baby, mommy. My friends are like, on Connie say, on Connie say, name. I'm like, nah, don't go there, don't think that way. I'm referring to this side, mm -hmm. like, on your side, the way he's loving me, the way he's doing his stuff, so you keep on doing that. I'm no boy. So, how you put it, I could have done it in a, a more explicit, explicit way. So, I think, uh, how you, you put your words, but sometimes if I need those explicit word to make a point you will i would okay yeah with blessing and then permission and then <laughs> so many letter writing and then if i have to carry the busy especially to my mother and be like if i chop the same use the word away a banner wouldn't yeah baby they mean to but i'm sure i'm crying i mean i'm fine sure for baby yeah great but then it's in the end that should use like sex cells sometimes when you told that line the music to sell it yeah, depends I on your say audience sex romance Romance, it's romance, you know, being sexual, and then um, being motivational, and then breaking heart. Uh, talking about broken hearts. You love uh, love songs. 
as a romance visa kind of thing. Yeah, because uh, sometimes you have to give the people what they want. What they want. They'll be like, ah, relationship. Mm, I will not date. But then put a love song out there. Oh, ah, wow. You see, oh. So, um, towing along that, like, giving the people what they want. Um, it's cool. And then I wouldn't be going on that lane alone. You know, you have to be versatile. Okay. So, if I have to do motivational songs, fine. You're down for it. Uh, Sebio, funeral songs, RRP to all gun shows, funeral songs, fine. Uh, campaign songs for this, that, that. Oh, you're even mm. down for a campaign, and doesn't it? When the time comes. When the time comes. Great. So, what genre does uh, Sheila? What, 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 how would you identify yourself? So far, Afrobeat, Afropop. Afrobeat, Afropop. Afropop. Great. Yeah. Because I feel that's what the people want more now. Even the Kodesa, you, you threw a little bit of a, like, even though it's Afrobeat, it wasn't purely, purely, purely Afrobeat. Afrobeat, Afropop, a little bit of a, some, I don't know if it's a high life, well, uh, contemporary kind of destiny in there. Okay, all right. So, uh, in the near future, maybe some years to come, should we expect a collaboration? Or one, he, Sheila, Sheila, Jackie, Every, everything or Everything is three. possible with God. Everything is possible with <laughs> Everything is, we, uh, that was just by the way. Everything is possible. Yeah, we would love, we would love that. We would love to do something like that. So, yeah, in the future, people should expect that. People should expect that. Yes. Great. So, considering uh, the, the achievements of your father, your father made a name for himself. Currently, his songs are still backing. Uh -huh. Would you say that is a very big big shoes to fit in or to walk in okay oh, uh, because his achievement is great okay. if your father is a one here then people are expecting that his daughter will outlive or do better than him mm -hmm. are you under any form of pressure not at all because uh will be a shoe size <laughs> She like you are five. <laughs> Give me a size thirty nine, ain't I won't let size forty or forty five pressure me. I feel Obian in India. So if my own is to be here, I will rush or feel pressure that I should be here. And if my own is here, definitely God will take me there. Mm. So I don't feel pressured. I rather feel motivated. Like those in your family have done that. Your blood, they are doing this. You can also do it. I feel really motivated, no pressure, just inspiration. Inspiration, yeah. great. So, a lot of people will say, oh, Sheila, the nature Paul's daughter. Sheila, the nature Paul's daughter. Who is Sheila? Tell us about yourself, what okay. you love to do, and what really is your story, apart from the nature Champon's daughter. Okay, so, Sheila, the Champon is a normal girl. Normal girl who has passion for music mm. and is and fashion, and she is pursuing both of them. It's not easy, but then nothing good right. comes easy anyway. And uh, she's someone who loves to learn. Yeah, master me thing, be pet, but then they're normal. So sometimes maybe if you correct me, I'll be like, but then listen to my point too. I know what you're saying is right, but then you listen. Yeah, and that as a a little bit uh, hard to correct. I'm working on that. <laughs> my little <laughs> sister will be like, oh, yeah, I'm in person my class because me, be king. Yeah, I'm working on that. I'm human, so I can't have it all, uh, all positive. And um, <clears throat> I love singing. I, I love watching football. Okay. Football, I'm a football fan. But I don't have a favorite football team. Team, yes. I'm a player What about fan. the local one? I'm a player fan. Uh, look on the... Yes, I took to call hearts for you. No, I'm a player fan. If you say, <laughs> if I spot this fine guy in, in Hasa, I'm a Hearts fan. <laughs> okay. If I find I'll this classy that. guy in Kotoko, I'm Kotoko. <laughs> so, I'm a player fan, but then I love football. I love watching movies. And then, um, I love annoying my little sister. Jackie. <laughs> no, no, Jackie, yeah. Uh, there's another one, Ernestina. Ernestina. Yeah. So how many are you in total? Let's oh. skip that question. Can't, you can't skip that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, great. Fine, fine, great. So, um, now Katsu, you are skipping that question. <laughs> why would you skip that question? <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't be a nine-day wonder. No, no. 
any awards that you are eyeing international or locally? All of them. All of them. <laughs> I wouldn't mind, uh, uh, let's say, okay, let me skip it. Can I can't say for me, so much. <laughs> Dabi, speak into it. Grammy, beat, whatever it is. Even if it's bed, best uh, bedroom singer award, I like it. Best shower singer award, I like it. I am eyeing every award. Uh, I, and I hope um, I get. I build a brand that convinces people to nominate me for those kind of awards. Mm -hmm. So yeah, the sky is my platform. I'm interested in getting almost every prestigious award out there, including that should be a Semiko Heaven. Well done awards. I want that. I want that. Great. Great. Your social media handles, where can we where can we get your song to listen and all that? Oh. I know uh, like that is on YouTube, the one you did with Strong Man. Yeah, the Great. video is on YouTube and then Spotify, Spotify. Apple Music, Audio Mark, um, mm -hmm. YouTube Music, all the digital platforms, my songs are available. The video for like that is out with Strong Man. It's on YouTube. Um, stream get the numbers up, feel the vibes, then support your girl. Social media handles? Uh, it's Sheila Music on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, Twitter. Everywhere is Sheila Music. Yeah. Sheila Music. Yeah. It was a pleasure sitting with you, talking with you, and listening to your music. I know that you're going to do well. Thank I you. wish you the very best. And I just can't wait to say, oh, she said it. I knew she did it. Yeah. And you're going to find your feet once you start with the hard work. Sure. I, be, I believe sure. that it's just the starting point. Sure. So thank you very much for coming. Too. Thank you very much for having me. Okay, great. So I did this with Sheila Echampong. She's an Afropop and Afrobeat musician, daughter of legendary High Life musician, Owanhini Echampong. It was nice doing this with you. We'll be back with the next episode of Talk Attainment. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Thank you.